Let's do it, hey, let's do it, come on, let's do it, hey, let's do it, come on, let's do it. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Hope you are doing well. Happy Valentine's Day, happy Val's Day. <laughs> hope you are having a very loving day or hope you had a very loving day for Val's Day, depending on, you know, what time you're watching this. However, I'm uploading this video on Valentine's Day, okay? So happy Valentine's Day from me to you. <laughs> Personally, I don't have any specific plans for Valentine's Day because it's not like it's a public holiday or anything. In fact, in America, it's the day after Super Bowl. So I know like a lot of people are still going to be going off of who won the Super Bowl and the yada yada yada. So I don't know how that's going to work out really. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll just, it's just going to be very cozy at home. You know, nothing, nothing. I don't have any grand <laughs> plants anyway um i asked on instagram uh, i think last week or thereabouts so that people should share with me some of the worst valentine's gifts that they have ever received and i got quite a lot of responses but also sorry my love is calling me hello babe yeah, so I was saying that last week or thereabout, I asked on Instagram that people should share with me some of the worst Valentine's gifts that they have ever received. And I got quite a number of responses. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to share this on YouTube and I'm also going to share mine with you. I actually have, let me share one of mine and then we'll go through the ones I got on Instagram and then I'll share another one of mine, okay? Share with me what your personal worst Valentine's gift has ever been just one or if you have a couple that you'd like to share i don't mind okay but share that with us in the comment section thank you <laughs> okay so the very first gift that i would consider um my worst valentine's gift would be a candle and I already shared this on Instagram, but let me, let me tell you, not, not, not the fancy Bath and Body Works candle, or not those, you know, candles that influence as usual. I'm talking about a candlestick, those long white ones that back in the day we used to use when, you know, we have power outage or whatever, that one. Yes that one 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 thing not even you know like a pack i think it comes they call it like a pack of eight no a single candlestick planted right in all honesty it was as a joke it was it, it was a, an issue of oh you know i don't have anything to give you so take this candlestick and i took it and it was before valentine's day right that i got it i think like a, maybe two weeks before whatever and so what i did was I went to school, took the candle with me, kept it on Valentine's Day. I lit it at midnight. <laughs> my friends, my roommates, they were bawling. It was hilarious. It was so sad. It was hilarious. Like everyone was just laughing. Even I, I was laughing, but I left it on, burnt it to wax, like all the way down. And like I said on Instagram, needless to say that our relationship got burnt. <laughs> and you know, like I said, it, 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 it might have come from a place of a joke, right? But it wasn't like I got any other gifts from that person for that Valentine's day you know that was the only gift that i got you know <laughs> nothing came after that all right no not not nada <laughs> okay let me share with you some of the ones i'm not going to share everything because some are funny some are just downright ridiculous um someone said she got a plastic flower and mug from a well-to-do 28 year old Guy, she said, God have Melissa. <laughs> How can a, a good as a grown man, a man that's 28 years old, be giving no fresh flowers or plastic flowers and a mug? Come on, you can do better. You can do better. Someone said she got dried fish. <laughs> When I posted this, someone DM'd me to say ah, that she, she likes seafood though. <laughs> That's why she doesn't mind dry fish. 
But this person did not provide context, context, so I can't really say. Someone said that she broke up with her ex before a week before Val's day, and on Val's day, he bought gifts for another babe. Wow. Wow. Someone said she got a can of Coke. <laughs> That's the, is that better than my candle? I, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> someone said she got a pack of spaghetti. <laughs> she said, I mean, I love pasta, but a pasta meal would have been better. <laughs> um, someone said she got a balumo. <laughs> What's, ooh, for the non yoruba people, what, what, what is Agbalumo called in English? I'll put, I'll put a picture here. <laughs> What's it called in English? I don't know. One type of fruits like that. I love a bad one now. That's not bad. Especially if you get like, you get like a basket of it. <laughs> Someone said she got Gideon Bible. You know those small blue pocket Bibles? The New Testament ones. Yes. <laughs> that was, I mean, this person that gave you a Bible obviously wants you to go to heaven. <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, someone said someone she knew received cabin biscuits after spending late nights outside. <laughs> Wait, you mean like a pack of cabin biscuits? I don't even know. I guess what the person is insinuating by saying, oh, after spending a night outside, she only came back with cabin biscuits. Well, I was just like, uh, even without spending a night out, Steph, cabin biscuits, really? Like, are we in what, prime mistakes? Ooh, this is good. This is good. Someone said that a guy that liked her sent her a mug to her office with his face on it and guess what she had a boyfriend at that time this is like nollywood film <laughs> the only thing that is just irking me right now is you're going to give me a gift but you're going to give me a gift that has your name on it or that has your face on it really or a mug a mo so every time i drink tea i'm supposed to think of you <laughs> interesting oh yes another person said that she couldn't uh, forget this one that she got a bad match making hookup that she did not ask for by the way i wish this person could have provided details of exactly what happened <laughs> Okay, let me share with you my second experience that something I would consider like another worst uh, Valentine's gift was when I got a pen. What am I saying? It wasn't a pen. I got a blue biro. You know, the eleganza from back in the day. Yes, one. Again, not a pack. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I guess maybe at the time, maybe my lifestyle was screaming cheap to guys. Maybe my lifestyle was screaming, oh, she, 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 she. Well, in retrospect, I was a tomboy, you know, when I was much younger. Yes, best believe it. Ask those I went to school with. Shout out to particular girls. <laughs> and in my first couple of years uh, in the uni as well, I, that was, it was, I did not, come into my own fully until i think i would say until i moved to the u.s was when i now started to appreciate my femininity and discover my femininity and, and embrace it properly you know because when i was in secondary school i was i mean i was a tomboy proper and then i got into university and you know it just so, so I was still a tomboy and then I attracted a lot of male friends. So I was that girl that had male friends, that had more male friends than she did female friends. You know, I was that girl that was always hanging out with a male friend or something and there was absolutely nothing going on. It was just friendship. I was just cool like that. You know, I was playing basketball. So I was on the female basketball team. There was a male basketball team. So I had friends. So it was just... You, you you get you get the juice. So I so I guess that made it really comfortable for guys to be able to 
do whatever, you know, and there's a lesson there for you. If you have been laughing through the video, that's great. But, you know, I always like to provide value one way or another. So, I mean, I already gave you entertainment value, but for, for lesson, let's say, take this away is, you know, you tr present yourself how you want people to treat you, you know. That's why I said in retrospect, at the time I was a tomboy, I didn't care a lot for all those things. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't mind, you know, so I, I didn't mind. So when the guy gave me, I, I mean, granted, it wasn't my boyfriend or anything. It was just a male friend. But when he gave me the pen, I took it, you know, I was like, ah, thank you. You know, you know, you know. you know <laughs> so um uh but it was probably because i presented myself in a way that oh i didn't care a lot about those things and you know you can give me whatever and not place any sort of value on it or even our friendship or whatever uh that was at that time so um moving forward what i would say is you present yourself how you want to be treated how you want to be approached you know how you want to be uh, appreciated you know if you don't place value on yourself how do you expect someone else to place value on you i think that's the perfect note to end this video Woo! i love it that was deep you got it you got it <laughs> thank you so much for watching please subscribe to the channel i will see you with a vlog in a couple of days well until then i pray you remain in god and god bless you <laughs> bye let me introduce you